good morning. It is a gloomy but beautiful day over here. The sun is slowly rising and the morning fog blankets these mountains, announcing the start of the day with the singing birds. The early morning mist makes everything so magical over here, leaving the landscape with lush greens and new growth. It's been a month already since my last video, and a lot of things have changed already. The season is shifting quickly, and winter has already arrived to these misty mountains. The garden is abundantly producing and filling our plates with fresh and nourishing food, while at the same time, water and nature have brought cleansing and refreshment to my mind and soul. And finally, the garden was completely ready to continue transplanting the last winter seedlings. A mix of herbs, leafy greens, cabbage and root vegetables is what we are growing during the winter season. Cilantro has become one of my favorite herbs to add to a warm comfort meal during this time of the year so I make sure to plant enough of them to have them on hand. In the garden bed that is closer to the tiny house, I like to have the things I use daily, like radishes, rucula, lettuces, chives and cilantro, while at the same time intercropping different varieties 
of cabbage, leeks, and the still producing eggplant. Gardening has become part of my daily ritual since I moved here two years ago. And it's not even because I'm always working on it, but because I like to observe it, see how things grow and evolve. It is always changing. Not two seasons are the same, because not two days will ever be the same again. And I feel it is in those ethereal moments where raw beauty is found. It's raining today and I haven't added any fertilizer to the roses and the trees yet. So I'm going to take advantage of the rain to add fertilizer to them to make sure that um, their immune system is ready for the winter time. A few weeks ago, I started using Kerof. Kerof is a supplement subscription service that makes it easy to stick to a consistent vitamin routine. They help you find a supplement routine that works just for you. With a holistic online quiz, they curate the right supplement plan for your individual needs and help you adjust your routine as your health evolves. Because your health routine should be as unique as you are all their supplements are non-GMO, have no artificial preservatives and are gluten-free, which is a must for me since I'm allergic to gluten. After taking my quiz, I received my package with my personal routine. My favorites have been the probiotic blend that supports my gut and helps my immune system. The gut check is also a great alternative to take on the go when traveling or when life gets busier, especially during this time of the year. I also love the rhodiola pills, an adaptogenic herb that helps me recover after long days of work in the garden and is going to be a great supplement now that we have started the build of our forever home. 
by taking care of quits you will find out what's recommended for you. Use my code EUGENIA50 for 50% off your first order.
sunshine in the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my eyes get out I'm gonna let the sun shine in I'm really really excited because I have been waiting for this moment for quite some time now um, this was my first harvest of loofahs uh, the first two of them just dry I peeled this one off and today I'm going to finally open this other one um, in this one I saw that at the bottom it has some mold but i think it will be okay if i just cut it with a knife and then from one of them i was able to get a lot of seeds which is great because the seeds are quite expensive around here so next year i'm going to have a lot of seeds to plant more loofahs There are still some dark spots inside, which are more seeds. Probably they are still like young seeds, like this one that 
con Sprout and so I will try one more time to remove as many as, as I can if not I will just use it like that The rest of the loofahs, I'm going to just leave it to dry, they are slowly drying and I also have some more loofah in the olive trees that I think I'm going to cut today or tomorrow because it's raining a lot and I don't want them to rot it. and so far um, these are the other seeds that I was able to get from this bigger, this bigger loofah I'm just going to select the best looking one and keep it in this airtight container.